Okay, the first step is to create a virtual machine for our Kubuntu installation. Uh, for this, you have to have the VMware player uh, installed already. If you don't have the VM uh, VMware player installed, then you have to uh, go to the website for the VMware player and download and do the installation. So once you have installed uh, the player and uh, you started, this is the interface that you will see. Um, uh, the list of the virtual machines in your case will be empty. I have uh, one virtual machine, but we are going to create a new one. <laughs> to create the virtual machine, use this create new virtual machine link. Click on it and you will see three options. Uh, the option that we are going to use is the third one. I will install the operating system later. Okay, so don't choose to use the installer disk. Don't choose to use the image disk file. Uh, choose to install the OS layer, third option. So click next. Uh, the OS that we will be installing is Linux, so choose Linux, and now we need the version. Uh, when you open this uh, drop down menu, you will see a list of options available. Okay, the one that uh, you will need to choose is the other Linux. I don't think it actually fits. Uh, in the recording area but when you scroll down you will see other Linux 3.x kernel okay so choose this one other Linux 3.x kernel so once again you need to open it you need to scroll all the way down and you will see other Linux 3.x kernel okay so once you do that click next uh, the name for the virtual machine. It's important to name your virtual machine properly. We will be installing Kubuntu 14.04 LTS, long term support. So that is how we're going to name. And we will also be installing 32 bit version. So let's name it uh, Kubuntu 14.04 LTS, 32 bit. Um, as you type the name for the virtual machine, you will see that the location uh, will be updated and uh, the folder for the virtual machine will be created. By default, that folder will be in uh, your user account, documents, virtual machines. Okay, if you want to change it and store it somewhere else, click browse button and do that, but I will keep it in this default location. So click next. Now we need to <coughs> do some basic configuration for this virtual machine. So the disk size in gigabytes, 8 gigabytes will be enough for the Kubuntu installation, so we'll leave it at that. And then uh, splitting or storing the <coughs> disk uh, as a single file is not really important for us. But if you would like to transfer the uh, a virtual machine to another computer, it will be easier for you if uh, the file is split into multiple files. So choose uh, split virtual disk into multiple files and click next. Okay, this is pretty much the confirmation screen. Uh, before you click finish, you can uh, click to customize the hardware, or you can click finish here and then uh, enter the customization of the hardware in a different way. So I'm going to click finish here. Okay, then you will see the virtual machine will appear. Okay, then once the virtual machine is selected, uh, click on the edit virtual machine settings. And you will see the screen that will allow you to do the customization of the hardware. Okay, we're not going to do much here, but memory. Uh, as you can see by default, uh, 256 megabyte of memory has been given. That is not enough. Okay, we are going to bump it up to around one gigabyte. If you have uh, more RAM on your computer, you can increase it to even more uh, greater value. But you know. One gigabyte is quite sufficient uh, to run uh, Kubuntu Linux. Processors. Uh, by default, one processor is being used. Uh, you know, you can, uh, if you have the multi-core machine, you can choose uh, to use multiple processors. I will choose two. Okay, don't choose too many because you really don't want to take too much processing power from Windows. Okay, so I will choose two. Okay, just to confirm, we have one gigabyte of uh, RAM. We have two processors, accessories, and we have eight uh, gigabyte of hard drive space. Okay, that's it. So click OK, uh, and then uh, click on Start. Play the virtual machine. Play. You can uh, use either this uh, link, or you can uh, click that button, whatever you like the most. Okay. <coughs> okay. You will see the screen will change. 
Okay, and uh, you will see that the virtual machine will try to actually run the operating system, but we haven't installed the operating system yet, so it will fail. And that is alright, because that will be the next step. In the next step, we will uh, install the uh, Kubuntu operating system into this uh, virtual machine. Okay, so I'm going to wait for the error message to appear so that you will see what kind of an error message you will see. Yep, almost there. You see, that's what you should get. Operating system not found. So we have the virtual machine created and ready for the installation, but we don't have the OS installed yet. Okay, so this is the end of the first part of your assignment.